New research from federal health officials say one out of every five U.S. teenagers has high cholesterol. One out of five. And it's increasing their risk of heart disease in the future. New evidence that obesity is making more children prone to illnesses, once primarily thought to be limited to adults. Joining us now is the author of The F Factor Diet, Discover the Secret to Permanent Weight Loss, nutritionist Tanya Zuckerberg. Good to see you. 30% of teenagers are overweight? 30% are overweight, 15% are obese, and out of those 15%, 40% of them have elevated cholesterol levels. And the other thing I read in the CDC report is that roughly 14% of non-overweight kids have high lipid levels, high cholesterol too. So what is it, lifestyle that, that is causing this, genetics? Well, when we look at the difference between the percent of um, normal weight children, that's 14% have elevated cholesterol, and then how that quadruples to 40% of the obese kids, yeah. we can see that weight does play a factor in elevated cholesterol levels. Of course, there's a genetic predisposition, but lifestyle truly adds to it. Yeah. The more overweight you are, the greater the chances that you have elevated cholesterol levels. I talked to Dr. Mark Siegel about this. He says all kids ought to have their lipid levels mm -hmm. tested on a regular basis. Doesn't mean you have right. to take statins, but just have yourself tested. Correct. Well, this is where the controversy lies, is that the American Academy of Pediatrics has new guidelines set. They believe that all children over the age of two should get their cholesterol tested. And the most controversial part of the guidelines is that they are re recommending statin drugs for children as young as eight years old. Yeah. Now, that's a big problem. Um, first of all, this has not been tested as far as long-term use of statins, right. especially in someone so young. We don't know if there's gonna be cognitive impairment, growth development issues. Liver and damage, liver which damage, can happen of in course. adults. And once again, these statins are just putting a band-aid on the wound. Let's treat the problem. And that's all where right. lifestyle comes into Talk play. Talk to us about that. What do you recommend? I have some great tips today. Number one, it begins with the parents. It's a trickle-down theory. You can't recommend your child to eat healthier if you're not following the suit. It's hard for a kid to be stuck eating carrot sticks when you're sitting next to them chomping on potato right. chips. So the parents must lead by example. What about fiber? Fiber is a big issue in this country. We're in a fiber deficit. We've refined all our foods. We've taken whole grains and we have white breads, white rice, white pasta. These foods not only you know increase our sugars and make us come crashing down, increasing the risk for cardiovascular disease, but refined carbs also increase triglycerides which are part of the cholesterol lipid panel. All right. So replacing refined carbs with high fiber carbs is a great step Soft to lower drinks, cholesterol. Soft drinks, bad idea, right? Yes, an average big gulp at 7-Eleven, we're talking 800 calories. If you have a child or a teen who's drinking one a day and they cut that out, they could lose 80 pounds in one year. And a nutritionist, a nutritional breakfast as well as lots of exercise is also on your list of tips. Thank you so much for being with us. Tanya Zuckerbrock, good My ideas. Pleasure.